Here's the front. You'll have to mind the animal noises. Nothing I can really do about that. This is where the outside exterior portion of the mini split system is hooked up. But like I put in the ad, that is currently not working. It needs a motherboard inside this unit here. The red door, piece of flashing above the door that we added. The awning needs some repairs. And then right up there, there's a piece of the roof that got damaged prior to me owning it. And I've never had any issues or leaks through there. Tires are the original from the purchase from the manufacturer. They are in decent shape. There's no dry rot. There's no problems with them. There's no very little. Um, there's a good amount of tread left. So they're in decent shape. As far as propane hybrid water heaters are concerned that's about the best you can buy it's a truma and this right here and up there that is your vents for your propane electric fridge here's the back no issues back here you can see the window All your hookups are on the left-hand side, which is the standard for an RV. You can see all the windows on both sides. This green little line here, that's the lines for the mini split system. It's a 35 amp hookup. And as you can see, there's no issues on this two series batteries makes you a 24 volt system it'll run everything including the fridge without issues it will not run the mini split and it will not run outlets which is pretty much standard for a uh, rv
coming back into the kitchen. You've got your, your sink, standard apartment size sink inside of this thing with all these drawers. They all work, as you can see. All the doors work. Fire extinguisher. Cabinets, built-in shelves that we added. It does not come standard. Back there, you can see that's the wheel well for the trailer itself. Again, cabinet. These drawers, as you can see, they work just fine as well. Here's the upper. This one had a shelf, so we didn't need to add one. Again, cabinets. And then, I do not have water currently hooked up to it, but this does work. Blinds. Turning around with my back towards the sink, you've got the oven unit. This is one of the high dollar Dometic stove units. Oven inside of there. <coughs> Cabinet lower, the other wheel well. Plumbing reaching over. This is under the bath, the uh, the refrigerator, as you can see again, that's all under the fridge. More cabinet storage, opening the freezer. Again, it's on right now, set to electric. You can turn it to, well, that's electric. This is propane setting, and then back off. Here's the lower works very well. This is your drip tray for condensation because your cooler units are inside of it. Standard RV style. And then this book will come with. This is all the information regarding the RV. Under the stairs storage. This electrical wiring comes to these two light switches. Some of the other stuff that's your built-in cutting board. It's a little stiff, but it does work. And then again, you can see in there, there's a plug-in for thumbs and things like that built-in. This standard, this has a wine cooler in it, which we have the wine cooler and will uh, ship with the unit. I believe we have it still. Again, butcher block cutting board slides in and out. And then this right here is your circuit breaker box. All your standard RV style breakers. Coming out of the kitchen, you've got this built-in shelf. Now the standard, this thing is mounted to the wall right here. You can see the old mounting locations. We built these, uh, this frame right here for it to sit on. So you can actually sit on this thing. And you could uh, have a little, those folding tray tables, which is what we had in mind for this, to be able to tuck away seating more, uh, more better. <laughs> For us coming around this is the ladder for this loft over here to get this out you just grab it, pull out it comes all the way down it's got a retaining bar so it will not come or fall out you can see the loft here a little dusty the light switch right here, turn that on, the big overhead, and all of those four little lights you see in the corner, like that one there, and that one there, are all controlled with that singular light switch. 
which you can come up here and you can see the windows. There's the other loft. These measure the same distance. They're the same size dimensionally, even though the stairs loft looks like it would be bigger. There's the head unit for the mini split. Here's the stairs going up. Added handrail that we added. And you can see again, light switch. And all this railing we added. This is going to be for children to be able to climb up and down the stairs easier. That's why we put it there. Pretty much completes our tour.